is Blue Bridge by Property Lim Brothers and today we are back in District 23 at Bukit Panjang. We're heading up to a rare executive corner unit standing at 1528 square feet asking at $730,000. That's right next to Fada Shopping Centre and RRT Station with a blank canvas unit that allows you to be creative with this spacious unit as well. Let's follow the BB team as we bring you along this journey. Let's go! Welcome to the unit and do remember to stay till the end of the video, we will be sharing with you 5 BB Reno ideas. Now, let's move on to the BB facts. Our unit is located at block 453 Fajar Road and there are a total of 78 units in this block consists of 5 room and executive apartment types. The list started in July 1997 and has a remaining list of 74 years. There are 6 units on each level and our unit is situated at a corner which gives you a better level of privacy as well. So now let's move on to BB4 plan analysis. Our unit is an executive apartment standing at 1528 square feet, 143 square meters. This unit comes with a three bedrooms and one very decent sized study that our owner has reconfigured into a storage room or bedroom currently. We also love the fact that it comes with a great sized balcony that allows us to either fit in an alfresco set or set up a gardening area if you are a plant lover. Let's start off this home tour with my favourite part of the unit which is the balcony and what I love about this balcony is this huge size that you're actually able to extend a living hall out to the balcony area with just a deck up will do. You can actually enclose this area with a window and one thing that you're going to notice at the balcony area is the LRT tracks because they'll be actually very close proximity to Fajar LRT station. One consideration that you'll be thinking of is that because we're so close to the LRT track that you'll be thinking if there's any noise issue but not to worry because the difference between the LRT and the MRT is that LRT actually runs on rubber wheels and are electric whereas MRT is actually running on tracks that actually produce a higher noise. So coming into the living hall, you can see that our owners actually did very minimal cabinetry built in and if you want to, you can actually knock down this piece of wall to further enhance your living area and even shift your dining set to that corner and allows this space to have a greater foyer area for you to lounge in with your friends or even host a gathering night. We can also see that there are storage available over here to store your shoes and your nitty gritties and you can see that our unit is actually like a blank canvas which allows you to be creative and create a space that is suitable to your likings. Now, let's move on to to BB Location Analysis. In terms of accessibility, our unit has a bus stop that's less than 3 minutes walk away and with a direct bus to Orchard, the journey takes about 30 minutes. Those who drive, BKE is in closer proximity and it takes you 20 minutes via PRE to get into the town area. Fajar LRT is a 2 minute walk away and that will be able to lead you towards Bukit Panjang MRT station on the downtown line. You also have fully sheltered walking access to Fajar Shopping Centre beside our block. We are also walking distance to Zhenhua Nature Park that connects to Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. For parents, would like to highlight that we are within a 1km radius to 4 primary schools namely West Spring Primary, Greenwich Primary, Beacon Primary and lastly Zhenhua Primary. In the kitchen area, you'll get to see that this area is in a very original condition where our owners renovated it some time back when they first moved in. This layout is in a squarish layout where it could be a very good potential for you to pack the walls down and create into an open kitchen concept. And follow me to the yard area which this is a very big sized yard where you don't get to see in the newer HDB types anymore. So coming in here, this is the 4 bedroom and storage room that our owner is now currently using. This is the space that you are able to reconfigure into the dining space if you want to. Moving on to this common bathroom, this is a very decent sized bathroom that is in its original state. It comes with a ventilation fan and window as well. Second common bedroom, this is currently a little cluttered at this moment but it does have a similar size to the last common bedroom. When I look at you like that you lose it completely 
losing track of space and time. Our owners has also done some reconfiguration with the storeroom space. You get to see that our owners has set up a very long table that allows you to put on a portable fan, three big screens, and even a CPU unit for his work from home space. We are also able to fit up to a queen size bed over here, or even to remove this wardrobe out and to shift your wardrobe into this corner to make more space over here for your side table. But I'm So now let's move on to the BB pricing analysis. So right in Bukit Banjang Block 430, we have a high wall unit, 5 room flat with a balance list of 65 years asking at $617,000. We also have another high wall unit, 5 room flat at Block 419 with a balance list of 65 years asking at $720,000. We have another unit at Block 442, low floor unit with a balance list of 65 years and executive masonette asking at $788,000. We also have this unit at 442D with a balance list of 93 years, a 5 room unit asking price at $600,000. $115,000. Our unit is asking at $730,000 with a balance list of 74 years, standing at 1,528 square feet. It is perfect for guide renovations and allow the new owners to be creative with this spacious unit. If we were to factor in the $50,000 worth of renovation, it equates to the value of having a renovated unit. So buying into a blank canvas unit, it allows you to create a space that is unique to yourself. If you would like to have a more premium and unique space to yourself, you have to buffer your budget accordingly. This is the end, a bit of rain, a bit of heaven. So much we said, so much push. Coming into the master bedroom, you will realize that we have a very huge bedroom door over here that gives you a very grand opening when you come into the master. As you can see, our owner has reconfigured the past storeroom into a very spacious corner in this master bedroom, as well as having the wardrobe done up over here. As for the new owners, you are actually able to reconfigure this space into a walk-in wardrobe that is attached to your master bedroom. So moving on to our master ensuite, our owners have actually done a renovation when they first moved in here with the terrazzo tiles and also spacious enough to have a bathtub inside. Moving on to this side of the bedroom, you can see that our owners have put up the king size bed and you still have space to move around the area. And you do see that there is storage done up here, predominantly that is for the older types of layout. And you're still able to place a side table on both sides of the bed as well. So moving on to this area, you can actually fit up a vanity table or even a TV console if you want to. So now let's move on to BB Financial Analysis. So let's assume a couple at 33 years old this year with a combined income at $9,000 per month and with a combined CPF at $180,000. If they are taking a bank loan, a 25% down payment is required at 5% cash at $36,500, 20% CPF for cash at $146,000. With a 25 years loan tenure and a loan to value at 75%, which is at $547,000, and a 2% interest rate, the monthly mortgage will be at $2,321. And based on 23% CPF OA monthly contribution by the couple at $2,070 per month, it will only be a cash top up of $251 for each month. If they are taking a HDB loan, a 50% down payment is payable. But if you choose to fully utilize your CPF for $180,000 with a maximum 25 years loan tenure and a remaining loan amount at $550,000, with the 2.6% interest rate, the monthly mortgage will be at $2,495. And based on 23% CPF OA monthly contribution, $2,070 a month, cash top up will be $425 for your monthly installment. So in terms of grants, for first-time owners, you'll be given a $40,000 CPF housing grant for a resale flat that is applicable to the executive apartment. And you'll also be given up to $80,000 enhanced housing grant depending on your household income. And you'll also be receiving a proximity grant if you're going to stay with your parents up to $30,000 and $20,000 if you're staying within 4km to your parents. Let's move on to the 5 BB owner ideas that we'll be sharing with you. So for the first BB Reno idea, you can actually hack down this piece of wall and extend it into a dining area. And the second BB Reno idea will actually be extending a living room towards to the balcony area and create a larger living space. And the third BB Reno idea will be actually sprucing up this balcony area by doing some deck up as well as a lounge area over here for you to chill with your friends. So for the fourth BB Reno idea, you will be changing this kitchen into an open concept kitchen. For the last BB Reno idea, you can actually create a walk-in wardrobe in your master bedroom as well.
Thank you for staying to the end of this video with us. If you're looking for an executive apartment corner unit that is standing at 1528 square feet, asking at $730,000 that is right next to Fajar Shopping Centre and Fajar LRT Station with this blank canvas that allows you to be creative with this spacious unit. To keep a look out for our listings and contact our listing managers right below. Do like and subscribe to our social media channels. This is Angela, Blue Bricks by Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. We will be pulling out a rendering to show you what are the... Ah! Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to BB Financial Analysis. Did I smile awkwardly just now? I did, right?